what's up lady gang welcome back to another video <laughs> y'all have y'all got into tyler perry new shows because i'm really feeling the oval so i want to give y'all a review on it i've been wanting to do these tv show reviews but i haven't started none of them from the very beginning so i wanted to do one from the beginning so i felt like this was the perfect show because i watched it i really i really liked that i seen a lot of people saying in the reviews that it was boring i like the show i feel like it's a good juicy storyline like it's it's good from all angles and every person involved on the show like it's good and it's a lot of mystery so it's a lot to you know impact on the episodes coming so um first thing we're gonna talk about the fight in the hotel room y'all when i tell you they was beating the mess out of each other like <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie, like, abuse is never funny, but that was just funny. They was just going at it back and forth. I was like, okay then. And she was holding her weight, you know what I'm saying? Most females fight a dude and get beat up, like, but she was holding it down. She was doing her thing. <laughs> she was going toe to toe with the man. But yeah, um, I, that, that was just crazy. And then the um person came to the door and was like, y'all ready? And they start talking about they need makeup and all this stuff. I bet y'all do. As y'all done beat each other black and blue. Like, what the world? Yeah, that was, that was crazy. I just want to know why they be beating each other. Yeah, I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? I really don't understand what they fight about. But we shall see. Okay, then they went into after they got dressed and got them back together. Um... The butler or whoever that lady was was like, it's your daughter or whatever. So basically the daughter didn't want to go to the inauguration because her boyfriend couldn't go. And her parents don't like her boyfriend or whatever. So the mama went in the room and yeah, she handled the girl. She thought she handled the girl, but she didn't show up to the inauguration anyway. She went on by her business to the White House. But yeah, the mama went in there doing all her little threatening and about the, I don't know. I don't know what that was. That was a little crazy. I don't understand. I don't know. Some must be that went on in the family for the daughter, not you know, why wouldn't she want to go to the inauguration? You know what I'm saying? And why wouldn't her boyfriend be understanding of her going to the inauguration? And uh, what's wrong with him that they didn't invite him because they never showed him, you know. So some apparently must be wrong with him if the parents didn't want to invite him. So yeah, that was just crazy. Okay, the Butler family, they got, oh my God, I like the Butler family. They got a real good storyline. So it start off, the the grandmother and the granddaughter, and the, I don't know what the son and his girlfriend or wife, I'm just say wife, I, I'm assuming that it's his wife, or if it's not, it's his girlfriend, whatever. Him and his wife, I don't know what they had going on. Now, why y'all up there in the room? Y'all showing up. Your mama and your daughter downstairs and y'all up there just doing y'all thing. But okay. <laughs> um and then the mama was cracking jokes or whatever. Some asked <laughs> she asked his wife, did she wash her hands? Like I was laughing at it. <clears throat> so as they, you know, showing they having their little family time, they helping the little girl with homework. Then the dad called, who was the butler to the president. And he was at the White House trying to move the people's stuff in. So he was like, he called his son and asked him, could he come help him move the boxes? Because they were saying somebody got a bad back. So I guess he needed his son to lift some of the heavy stuff. So the son got the call. And when he going out the door to go help his dad, the little girl mama standing there. I thought it was his wife's kid, you know, until they showed it. But anyway, um... Well, I thought it was him and his wife's daughter together, but apparently, you know, it's not. It's just his daughter. Um, but yeah, the um, the little girl mom standing out there. She's saying some old crazy stuff. I don't know what she out there. Got the um, got a nun outfit on and doing this um yum yum whatever she was doing. <laughs> And she out there doing all that. And then he started going off. He was like, you know, why are you coming around and blah, 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 blah. And then he did mention, well, he mentioned after he left, um, his mom told her, you know, I'm going to try to figure out a way, you know, for you to see your daughter or whatever. So he left and then the little girl mama left. 
So <clears throat> his mom called him later on after he had left and was like, you know, the little girl, you know, probably should see her mom and trying to convince him that to let the little girl see her mom. And he was not having, he was like, she left her in a crack house and all kind of stuff. So apparently she on drugs and now she in some type of cult. So he wasn't feeling it. So then his mom going to call the little girl mama and tell her she come over there and visit with her for an hour. I don't know why. Something while I was watching that show was telling me something was going to go real wrong when the little girl mama came over there. And it did. And we're going to get to that. Um, so, yeah, she called and she told her she can come over there. So, um, <clears throat> oh, yeah. Then let's go back to the woman on the plane. Well, the... I don't know what her husband the I can't remember what he was, but he was like over I guess seeing everybody and make sure everything go as planned. And his wife was on the plane and apparently his wife and the first lady is friends because the first lady was like, Yeah, I'm wearing her dress or whatever. So apparently his wife had let the first lady borrow her dress to wear to the inauguration. But his wife wasn't able to uh, make it. I don't know why she was out of town, but she was flying back into Washington, she was on the plane. But they end up detouring the plane to go to Charlotte because the weather was bad. The Charlotte, North Carolina. And the whole time she was on the plane, the, the dude Sim Sal just kept trying to holler at her. Kept trying to holler at her. Well, I ain't going to say he kept trying to holler at her, but you know when somebody wants you. He kept trying to, you know what I'm saying, like push himself up on her. You know what I'm saying? So she wasn't feeling it. She was just talking to her husband on the phone and like, you know, wasn't paying him no attention. So... After she told her husband about that, he got mad at her. Told her husband about how she wasn't going to be able to make it and the plane had to be detoured to Charlotte. He hung up on her and got mad at her. So I guess she was feeling some type of way. So she, um, the plane landed. They got to the airport and she's sitting there at the, in the lobby or whatever. <clears throat> the guy comes sit at the table beside her. He's still trying to talk to her. And at this point, I guess she kind of let her guard down. She was upset about her husband and not being able to make it to Washington. So she started talking to him. And then she asked him to, uh, well, he asked could he sit at the table with her. So he came, sat at the table with her. They start taking drinks and whatnot. So, yeah, stuff, I guess, I don't know what was going on. And then basically he, he was hollering at her. He told her to come meet him in the bathroom. And y'all already know what they went in the bathroom to do. Well, what he wanted her to come in the bathroom to do. So he goes to the bathroom. This crazy woman gets up and goes in the bathroom. Lady, you don't even know this man. What are you doing? You don't even know that man. <laughs> like, what the world? The man is trying to talk to you on the plane. He talked to you in the airport. And now you in the bathroom with him. And you got a whole husband. I don't understand. Like, that's going to be a very messy storyline. Because I seen on the preview, the man that came to her house. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. That was crazy. But, yeah, she went that went and cheated on her husband in the airport bathroom. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so back to the butler. His son then got to the White House helping him move the furniture. So, right before his son get ready to go, the president's daughter come in. And she like... What she say? She was drunk. Apparently, it looked like I don't know. It could have just been bad acting. I'm not being funny, but I I think she was trying to play drunk. So she was like, she show her what her room was, and she was like, she wanted the boy, which is the butler son. She wanted him to show her what the room was, and he was like, he was just looking like what the world. Like I don't even work here. You know what I'm saying? That was he. The look he had on his face. So, his dad and the other lady that worked there, they was like, just go ahead, you know, go ahead with her. Because she, you know, just do it. Just get her in her room and, you know, whatever. And so, him and her start walking up the stairs. And they send the, um, I guess she the maid. They send her with them too. So, the three of them going up the stairs. They get to her room. And the president's daughter, she basically tell the maid to get out of her room and shut the door. So, she shut the door and her and the boy in the room. She started trying to like unbutton his pants and he was like, No, nah, what you doing? And he hit her, knocked on the ground. And he basically knocked out for a minute because he slept her he slapped her real hard. Um so then when he slapped her, he tried to shake her and wake her up. She wasn't waking up, so he opened the door 
and the maid was standing right there at the door and he was like, you know, you know, I hit her and she whatever happened, whatever, whatever, whatever he said, all that, whatever. So the maid maid came in there, she got to wake up the girl talking about something. He tried to what she said, he tried to rape me or something. First of all, I hope this gets nowhere in the in the show because that was stupid. First of all, they weren't even in the room long enough for nobody to work. Nobody, I kid you not, the door wasn't even shut in two minutes. How did somebody try to work somebody in two minutes? I mean, it's possible to try, but that definitely didn't happen, um, clearly. And plus, the maid was standing outside the door, like, if he was trying to rape you, when you have been yelling? And why would you tell him? I hope, if it do get somewhere, I hope the maid just be like, well, she put me out of the room. She told him to stay in there. They weren't even in there two minutes. So, you know... I hope he don't get in trouble for that. That's basically what I'm saying because, you know, that girl, she was doing the most and she was trying to get him in trouble. So, yeah. So, then we're going to go back to um the butler's house where his wife and his granddaughter are there. And I don't know what the son's wife was, but um the little girl, her grandma and her mom sitting in the living room. The grandma let the mom come over there and visit with her. She was like, all right, now, you know what I'm saying? I told you you can visit with her for an hour. It's been two. You got to go now. You know what I'm saying? I was being nice. I let you spend time with your daughter. They get into it. They putting the little girl back and forth. Next thing I know, the mama done said one of her little spells, one of them, yum, 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 whatever she be saying. And the folks that came in the house if most people dressed like her with that red nun outfit on that came in the house and then she told my son she told the little girl grandma to my somebody the leader wants her she's the chosen one or something so basically they're gonna take the little girl and early in the show the little girl daddy had said that he said that um somebody the leader is married to a bunch of young little girls so i hope that's not what's about to happen i feel like this show is kind of predictable though but I hope that ain't what about to happen. I hope they don't get it. I hope the grandma is able to fight them people off and um, protect the little girl. And I hope the son's wife or girlfriend, I hope she's at home and I hope she here and I hope she come downstairs, you know, and help fight and get the people out of their house and protect the little girl. But I don't know where she at because he at the White House, the dad at the White House, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know where the son's wife at, but she should have been in the house too. If as far as I know, unless she had went somewhere. Anyway, that's how the episode ended. And then they showed the preview for next week. The grandma standing in the corner with a knife. She said she about to protect her grandbaby by any means. Do your thing, grandma. Yeah. But um it the show comes on tonight. I'm recording this video. It's Wednesday. This is before the second episode comes on. So I have another review up very, very soon. I hope y'all guys enjoyed my video and I re I like doing TV reviews because I watch, I ain't gonna say I watch a lot. I watch reality TV, but I don't really care to do reviews on that, especially because I didn't see it from the beginning. But this one, I'm starting from the very beginning. So yeah, hope y'all like the show so we can review it and talk about this stuff together. Yep. Thank y'all for watching the video, Lady Gang.